Hi, this is Mark from All About Circuits, and I'm here with a custom PCB design built around the WizNet 5500 and TI MSP430 FR2633. This is a subsystem of what might be a larger modular sensor system project. The purpose of this particular board is to act as a node in a multiple input, multiple output sensor chain and communicate with an MQTT broker to link input and output nodes across a factory or across the world. On either side of the board are two four-pin plated through holes for connection to headers or magnetic pogo pin connectors. Each connector carries ground, 5 volts DC, and UART TX and RX lines from two separate buses that carry UART data streams. As input nodes gather information, they add to the data stream. As output nodes read the stream, they perform actions or display information. The daisy chain configuration allows an almost unlimited number of power nodes, input nodes, and output nodes to be used. Two UART buses allow for information to be passed in either direction. Any node that is added to the project would require a microcontroller with two available UART buses to receive, transmit, and add to the data stream. Sensors that use I2C or SPI would be read by the microcontroller and added to the UART data stream. Some interesting things to note about this design. The board uses an RJ45 jack with integrated magnetics and LEDs. This is commonly referred to as a mag jack. The number of pins in the jack is not necessarily the same number of pins on the part. It's important to route the differential pairs outside the footprint as quickly as possible and to not route additional traces underneath the portion of the jack housing the magnetics. Via stitching can be used around the jack, but it is not strictly necessary. You also need to include damping resistors to prevent ringing in the lines. Two LDOs are provided for analog and digital voltage sources. The WizNet 5500 requires a 25 MHz clock source that must be routed as closely to the XN pin as possible. Decoupling capacitors are provided for all VDD pins, and I had to get a bit creative with their placement. The MSP430 FR2633 is a capacitive touch capable MCU. I had additional pins available, so I created a header for a 4-pin touch interface and a 3-pin LED interface. TI recommends decreasing the parasitic capacitance on adjacent layers by using hatched fills. Since this is a test board, ample number of test pins are positioned around the board for troubleshooting. As you can tell from the indicator LEDs in the mag jack, the board functions and can establish a link with my local router. Unfortunately, since this is a subsystem only design, there are no input or output nodes available to interact with this board. I hope you've enjoyed this project. Please see the article for more details. Thank you.